Hello everyone, it's Pharaoh War here, welcome to the channel. So guys, in this game I'm playing Skaven led by the Lord Skrulk himself, right against that ugly big bird Sartorial leading a chaos army. Alright guys, as usual, let's get let's check the armies and get right into the game. Alright you guys, so for the army builds, let's start with my army first. I've got Lord Skrulk with Blessed with Filth, the Wither and Vermintide, and I also have the both items, the Rod of Corruption and the Liber Bubonicus, and all his abilities. Uh, for my Warlock Engineer, I've got nothing on him except the Warp Gale, uh, the Warp Stone Armor and the Warp Gale thing that holds Flyer units in place. Expecting maybe some Flyers, you know, I'll hold them in place and have my Gutter Runners and my uh, Poison Wind Global Deers just hitting them from afar. I've got two, four Skaven Slaves with, with Spears, four Clan Rats with Spears, four Plague Monks, one Poison Wind Global Deer, two Gutter Runners with Poison, the like the 360 degrees attacking one, attack while moving, one Rat Ogre, and a Plague Clock Catapult. So, versus Chaos, people always tend to get the uh, Warp Lightning Cannon. This is a very bad idea. I find it that this is the worst thing you can actually do versus Chaos. Why? Because, okay, you might go against a Shagath, and the Shagath will not take that much damage if microed correctly until he reaches your army. Or you'll find yourself against Sartorial, which will not get hit even 1% loss in health from the Warp Lightning Cannon. It will do shit. So just get a play call catapult and focus on the infantry. That's the best thing you should do. As for my opponent's army, Salsicha, very good Chaos player, if I might add to that. Like, I loved playing against him in this one. He's got Big Bird's Arthurial, as you saw before, and on him he's got Final Transmutation, Plague of Rust, and Metal Shifting. So, Final Transmutation is a, like, I have a little bit negative feedback on it. It's a very bad spell now. It will do shit versus Kaven. He's got four Chaos Warriors, four Chaos Warriors with three weapons, and two Shagoth. So, very simple build, really not a lot to it, just have his infantry attacking my infantry, attack each other, hold my infantry in place, and then let the Shagoths with, with Sartorial just do the damage required on the back lines, on the ranged units, and maybe on the leadership. Alright guys, so let's get right into formations now and start the game. Okay, people, let's check the formation. So for my, as I said, as I, you already know what I have. I've got my clan rat spears all around my back line, just forming up a semicircle or a hemisphere or whatever you want to call it, just defending the back lines with the help of the rat ogres. My front line is my plague monks, because these guys are formidable in hand-to-hand -hand combat with their very high leadership compared to other Skaven units with 87 leadership when they're standing close to like the uh, the lords they get 87 leadership and this is quite a lot for fucking rat also due to the eight leadership you get from the frenzy and in front line i've got the two skaven slaves with spears just you know fodder unit to just get hung up on other units and destroy the formation of the other opponent coming in with the two gutter runners of poison in the front line with the play clock catapult and my goon squad standing right there so a simple thing i like to do with the skaven skaven tend to run away very fast the rats they're not supposed to fight so when they run away i always have a backup so if these plague monks run away they have these clan rat spears to hold the line until they come back because skaven are also very good when they return to combat same thing on the right side these guys break they have another thing and center here i'll send these guys to hold up so i've always got a backup unit if a unit routes i have to send in the other one and this just keeps me on top of my micro since i my micro isn't all that best all right, all right. And my Poison Wing Global Deers over here, just, you know, put them on a nice hill where they have a very good target area they can shoot. And, and like, in case I don't have a large target to fire, I can fire on infantry. All right, so for the Chaos, very simple build. All his army is just in a straight line. Just all he wants is just to get in, keep my infantry busy, and then use the Shagoth with Sartorial to do the damage. Let's uh, let's try let's get right into actually let's fast forward because there was a lot of skirmishing and like just a lot of waste a lot of time to waste I don't like my videos to go over nine minutes so we have as the play clock we have as the play clock catapult just doing the damage and it just hits our three and this one is going to be a clean hit no and this one is the clean hit oh that was a beautiful hit right there on the on the chaos warriors so 
got a runners just focusing on the Shagath. He he ran back with the Shagath. Very nice move from him. Oh, the play clock catapults. These hits are very nice on the center unit. And the gutter runners are just poisoning all the line because he's keeping them very close together. So gutter runner, if one if one hit hits that Chaos Warriors, for example, all the units are just poisoned for some reason. Okay, I'm fine with that. That's fine by me. Sartorial is just getting in, doing a lot of damage. You know, being as annoying as hell as possible. I gotta... I gotta watch my language a little, so excuse excuse my French. So I'm sending these Caven Slaves with Spears just to, you know, bother Sartorial, hoping I can do anything about it, but not really. So let's check it out like this. This is better. So Sartorial just came up into the Plague Monks. I'll run away with them and send in my uh, uh, Clan Rat Spears. Skaven Slaves, same thing. I'll use them to block around here and now all his units are just coming in. I wasn't on top of my micro in this area. I'll have everything else just charging. As you'll see but on my right side and left side i wasn't really on top of my micro which i'm going to lose due to that not having my charges off so casted a blessed with filth sent in my assassin and now my assassin uh, i used the uh, the concealment bomb on him i used trophy heads and wither on sartorial so sartorial right now is zero armor zero melee defense so just one hit from the assassin that he doesn't see at the moment this is the cool thing actually very close to him and he doesn't see him and then i will send him in immediately when i see sartorial just hit the front line there we go and now like sartorial is just going to get a little bit hit by the guy i also casted the high talisman where it drops like melee attack oh that was a big chunk of health and i'm just keeping the assassin on sartorial because the assassin is actually very good versus sartorial so i have a i have i'm having a little break here so i'm sending in my rat ogres with these spears to just hold the line over there with the gutter runners just standing there as well the snare net's just gonna work and now yep there we go the rat ogres are just destroying them these guys are just gonna rout in a second now the assassin got a little bit yeah i got a little bit overzealous with him he's getting damaged horribly by the dragon ogre shagoth plus sartorial and there we go as you see a unit routes i send in another unit to back up until that unit regains its leadership and that's so on and so forth through the game so as you can see, just the trickle damage on Sartorial with the Gutter Runners. I just casted also Liber Bubonicus on him, which is doing a lot of good damage. And Rad Ogres with the Clan Rat Spears. This is a very good combo. Rad Ogres holds the large units in place. And the Clan Rat Spears just does a lot of damage. Blessed with Filth, drop down. Casted the Stand Your Ground over there to keep my units fresh and good. Casted Blessed with Filth. And now I'm going to drop a Wither very soon as well. So the Shagath is hitting Lord Skrulk. Skrulk is very hard to hit by a Shagath, but still, my Poison Wind Globadiers have a very nice target right now on the Shagath, just doing the damage required. And as you've seen, his great weapons, with the help of the Withering and the Plus with Filth, there's one, there's two, there's three, and the fourth is just... I'm not sure where the fourth... Oh yeah, there's the fourth over there. So three units already routed, and my Plague Monks are actually quite good. Not They're left with 25% health. And now, look what I've done. I've sent in my uh, Warlock Engineer in the center with the Gutter Runners because now all these guys are just slowed down as hell. Speed is 76. No, this is not slow. Yep, there we go. 58. So the Rat Ogres are doing the damage. Gutter Runners are hitting. Other Gutter Runners are hitting. Skaven Slaves with Spears just getting in to do the anti large bonus damage they have. And Skrulk is just there being as so annoying as he always is. Now let's continue. As you can see, it's just a whole fast but. The thing is, with the first charge, by using the Blessed with Filth and Wither, you can take down any high level armor unit down and just destroy it in a second. And there we go again. Cast it another Wither. That's a minus 30 armor. So the Dragon Ogre Shagoth is 40 armor only. So the Poison Wing Lover Deers are doing a lot of good damage on him. I'm sending in my other units now. The ones that routed the, uh, plague, lo the plague Monks. Skaven Slaves with Spears. Clan Rat with Spears. And everything is just coming back to help out Scroll and just defend him. The Assassin is also coming back. I casted a Concealment Bomb on him. He's, he's going to get in on Sartorian. Actually, I think he's going to catch him. Yeah, I think he's going to catch him in a couple of hits there. Yeah, if I remember correctly, that was a nice hit right there. So, he's both Shagath are hitting uh, Skrulk. Good idea. You want to take care of Skrulk very fast. But in the same time, these, the Clan Rat Spears, the Poison Wing Globe, is just doing the damage required. And the Dragon Ogre Shagath, with the help of the Clan Rat Spears, is just going to do a lot of damage on that Shagath. <clears throat> so, as you can see, like for being a Chaos Strong Infantry line, it really got destroyed using the combo with the Blessed with Filth and the Wither. So first Shagath is already routing. My assassin is down for the count. He will not come back. 
Poison Wing Globadier is just standing there looking also nice, but still Sartorio won't do a lot of damage on them because they have 100 armor. Gutter Runners are still being super annoying, just standing in the center there. And now I'm just waiting for uh, for Lord Skrulk's uh, Libra Bubonicus to, to just regenerate so I can cast it a stand your ground. And now I'm going to hit Sartorial hopefully soon-ish by a Libra Bubonicus. There we go. And this is just going to count Sartorial out. So I'm just going to avoid him away and then just focus everything on this Shagoth with the Gutter Runners, the Poison Wind Global Deers, like the Plague Monks and Skrulk and everything is just attacking Everything is just trying to attack the Dragon Ogre at the moment with the Gutter Runners and everything. And yeah, more or less that is it for the game for that Shagoth, especially with the with Sartorial down for the count. The, sh the first Shagoth is just dead or actually routed really far away, just getting out of the map. That guy, oh, that was a nice hit. Oh man, that is another nice hit. So yeah, <clears throat> my opponent's just noticing that he will not be able to continue the game. Just, you know, just the trickle damage from the warlock engineer from a lot of spears and still like just taking down sartorial using the assassin just hitting him a couple of hits taking him down to like 30 percent all that by the end of the game counted down to actually giving me a lot of value so a lot of cheap units cheap is the way to go with skaven just don't get the high tier infantry unless you want to throw your opponent off other than that very well played to Salsicha. I really enjoyed that game. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope I'll get to see you in the next video. Cheers and have a nice day.